Hi everyone, this is Andre. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about children's bedwetting. Um, I have a case of uh, when he came, he was uh, just before, just about three, to about to turn four years old. Um, the reason his parents took him to see me is because he had severe eczema since he was born and um, at that time he also had some urination issue like he he needed um, he goes quite frequently maybe every hour or so um, and from time to time he does have bedwetting issues maybe a couple times a month um, it's not too serious but um, it does happen sometimes um, <clears throat> so during the treatment of the uh, eczema um, because it's such a difficult case um, and when I changed the formula herbal formula that I gave him I can uh, when the formula suits him um, his uh, bedwetting will stop completely and when when the formula isn't right for him he, the bedwetting will become more severe so like when when he's not bedwetting like he's he can have um, any any amount of water any amount of drinks before his bedtime and he still wouldn't wake up I uh, still wouldn't wake wet his bed but if um, a, like a, a formula that didn't suit him even like he had a, just some water before uh, like after dinner and nothing until bedtime he was still wet the bed it's quite um, obvious that um, the the result from um, the effect from from the formula so I'm gonna share this part of the, the case and yeah, first let's um, understand how um, how the the physiology of um, Chinese medicine and how um, bladder is able to uh, control uh, the urine the amount of urine and urination so in Chinese medicine um, this is heart the SI is for small intestine and the blue blue thing is the urinary bladder so bladder sits in front of the smaller intestine just below there um, so heart in Chinese medicine um, has a fire property so when heart is pumping um, it generates a lot of heat it's just like a fire and because of the relationship between heart and intestine is like um, your palm and the back of your hand so the fire is the heat is transferred to only transferred to smaller and in, small intestine so small intestine and heart are both have fire property in Chinese medicine so this fire uh, this heat will trans because bladder is in front of it uh, the heat will transfer it to to the bladder and when there is urine in the bladder um, because of the heat some of the urine will become uh, like a vapor type of uh, water and this vapor has a, a like an uplifting forces kind of like um, hot air balloon so when you apply heat at the bottom it's going to expand it's going to float up so that expands uh, the bladder to a bigger size so when there is not enough heat this bladder will not expand or will become a smaller size so normally a healthy person is able to hold about 500 cc of urine in their bladder sometimes more to 800 probably 300 to 500 is somewhat considered normal is some somewhere you will feel uh, the, feel like you need to go pee but if there's if your bladder is very cold is lack of this uplifting force um, or you can consider it's some sort of it's uh, 
type of chi that lifts the bladder up. Um, when when you when the bladder doesn't have enough this, it's going to be smaller. So the hot air balloon is not able to um, inflate fully, and the amount of urine that can store in the bladder will get smaller. So maybe 300 cc only. So if your bladder is smaller, maybe you feel you will feel that you need pee when you have only 150 cc in your in your bladder. So that's why people, um, older people or some young children, um, will have frequent urination or things like that. Is because for kids, it's because their their body is still growing, their kidneys, uh, which is connected to the bladder, are still growing, their heart is still growing. So it's not at a fully normal function yet. So that's why we don't normally worry uh, when young children have bad wedding issue. But however, when they're getting older and they still have this issue, then this is probably one like major, um, one of the common reason that this children is still um, having bad wedding issues. So, same for adults, like um, for a person who likes to, who likes to drink a lot of beer, um, because beer is usually consumed uh, ice and cold refrigerated. Um, so that's gonna lower the temperature of your kidneys and your uh, I forgot this tube, the tube that goes from kidney to your bladder and it's going to lower the temperature of all this system so your bladder is going to be smaller and beer also kind of force your kidney to overwork to to pee a lot more than you, it should be so it's making it working over time and your kidney when your kidney gets tired it's going to not be able to recycle uh, the proper proteins and all the, the, the minerals and stuff and eventually uh, making your bladder uh, the temperature of your bladder drops it might not be measurable but the uplifting force is definitely going to be smaller than a healthy person so if you drink too much beer for um, if you like drink a lot of beer over many many years this could happen and there also could cause it also can cause some other issues, maybe like prostate issues. We'll, we'll have another episode for that. But today we're talking about urination. So, so normally for this case, um, these two herbs I use. First one is called Gui Zi. It's basically a cinnamon uh, twig. Uh, Fu Ling is, uh, the common name is Poria. It's, kind, it's a type of fungi that um, that grows around the root of pine tree. It's uh, white, kind of like a mushroom, but it's usually like in a like a block. Uh, the function of guizi is to strengthen heart. So whenever someone has a weak heart, their heart isn't creating enough fire, enough heat, or they can have palpitation or any sort of heart weakness. Guizi is um, usually a very good herb for this type of issue. Fooling is a herb to regulate water metabolisms for so that helps your kidney and also your bladder functions. So for someone um, when I say regulate it's not only um, help you urinate more so like um, like in Western medicine you have a pill uh, if you have edema or you have water retention or you have um, urination difficulties um, the doctors will give you diuretic pills to help you pee more but this doesn't always uh, does not only make you pee more but if you're peeing more it also help you pee less so this herb has a, a two-way function of up or down regulating to help you 
restore the water metabolism back to more normal. So for someone who has a, a lot of water retention, edema, and doesn't pee a lot, doesn't pee enough, this will help you, this fooling will help the, your body pee, uh, get rid of the excessive water. And when, if you're peeing too much, you're having few frequent urination, maybe you're going every hour, or you're waking up you know, every hour, every two hours at night to pee. This will help regulate it so you don't you don't need to pee that much at night or even during the day. So this is a very good herbs. Um, but normally we don't just use these two herbs and the ratio of each herb depending on the person's uh, health condition. So um, normally, we combine it with other herbs to address the full um, full picture of, of a patient's health. So sometimes it can be a lot, a lot of herbs, uh, but containing guizhi and fooling. Or sometimes, if the patient doesn't have the heart issue, then we don't need guizhi to strengthen the heart. That'll be something extra. Or um, for example, the patient might not require fooling, can be substituted with something else that more uh, that suits more of their health health condition or health picture. Um, so, if you are if you have some of these issues, um, or, or your your kids or your friends are having urination issues, and uh, they're waking up at night to pee, you know, couple many many times. Um, or they just sometimes wake up, you know, once or twice every night. Um, there's something you can do. Maybe it's not uh, when it's not as severe as when you want to seek professional help. Um, what you can do is you can take a handful of black beans. The Chinese is called black beans. I'm I'm not sure what's the common name um, in English. Let's call it black beans. Um, you take about a handful of black beans, you take a pot of water, maybe a cup or two cups, half liter. Um, you boil it on the stove for about you know 15, 30 minutes, and then you drink the, the, the you get rid of the black bean and then you drink the whatever it's liquid. Um, drink it like like tea. You can drink it once a day, one cup a day, or it's. This is more like a food, so it's not. It doesn't really matter how much you you drink, as long as you don't overdo it. Like you don't, you don't do it like you know three times a day. You, so it's not gonna be any harmful to to your body. It's <coughs> so if you've been taking this for about you know a week or two weeks and you haven't noticed any change with your urination then you probably need professional help if it's helping you you will probably see a difference in a week or two two weeks um, that's it for today and I'll see you next time